hands. We are live. Hello again, everybody. This is Angela R. Sasser, fantasy artist, creative writer, and mask maker. You can see all the various things that I make over at angelasasser.com. Today, I'll be working on a sketch for a Patreon patron. And I'm really excited about it because I loved how the last sketch came out for this patron. The last sketch I had created for this patron was this lovely lady here and her sister. This is uh, Amelia, the Empress Amelia. And this month I'm drawing her son, the Imperial Prince Mertian Navaris. And I'm, I have her up for reference so I can get that family resemblance across. And I've also snagged the background from her sketch because I like to bring that same theme across. And I brought it across with her sister too, which let me show you this sister. Might as well show off the whole family while I'm here. And these sketches are just sketch commissions that I do for my patrons each month who are at Sketch Collector tier. It's a fun way to practice and do more organic sketching without obsessing over every step of the process like I usually do. Here she is. So those are the sisters. So, what I'm going to do is set my timer, give myself an hour to work on this, and that is my cutoff. And, uh, let's do it. Hopefully there will be no more tornadoes today, <laughs> like yesterday. I had to hop off the stream in the middle of the stream because my the tornado sirens went off outside. So that's not something that happens during a stream every day, hopefully. Hello, Sandy! Always good to see you in the chat. And also, if you have, if you guys have any questions, just feel free to leave them in the chat, and I'll look up every now and again and uh, try to answer any questions that come along. Give me things to talk about, so I'm not rambling. All right, so timer. Timer is going. Ah. Okay. So step one, block in the shapes. So Mertian here is described as being tanner skin than his mother. Same dark hair and the same sharpness to his features from the elven heritage. So I've tried to bring that in. And he has a little bit of a point to his ears, but not as, as much as his um, auntie. So... And I've put him in a fur-lined cloak for the... Uh, he's described as being from a more cold region. So that seemed to fit. And I've also echoed the fashion of his mother's outfit with the uh, sort of the de uh, the, bleh, the decorative trim here in his cloak and his uh, outfit. So let's do it. Blocking in. It's more of a simple piece today. But I kind of like that. Sometimes when you have a simple piece, it's more iconic and strong. Like, I can definitely see this as a cover piece, just because covers need to be very instantly readable. Hey Sam, good to see ya.
Yeah, I'm so happy for all these elves. They are very fun to draw. Though I, I cannot draw a fur lined cloak now without thinking of Game of Thrones and the the Brotherhood. The watchers on the wall. Or the House Stark, they always got that fur going on. up a bit. Must have had a, a blending mode going on. I was like, why are my colors so light? There we go. So I see more folks in the chat. Feel free to introduce yourselves. Tell me if you're working on anything fun or if you have any cool characters that you love. Or ask questions about my process. I actually do um, watercolor painting as well. That's sort of my main thing and I've been trying to teach myself digital. That's what all this sketching helps with. I've been trying to teach myself digital for uh, years now. <laughs> It's where I find a different way to do everything every time I load up Photoshop. It does make things easier, like when I draw hands too large or the head too big. So much easier just to scooch things over. this fabulous princely hair. And we'll come back up and soften this hair later, but for now I just wanted to get the main shape in. Oh hey, Mistridge! I remember those awesome guns you made. Just gonna color pick from uh, Amelia because I want them to match up a bit. Mistridge, you should totally link those guns that you made for Kalara because I, I know a few of the Exalted fans in here might have missed them so they'd probably like to see what you made. You wrote up stats for Kalara's guns business and pleasure. She didn't name them, her party named them, but it kind of stuck. 
And it, they're just a lot of fun. And Sunny asks, why did I choose Photoshop over other options like Clip Studio or Sci? Paint Tool Stot, the Paint Tool Sci. Woo, say that five times fast. I chose Photoshop because I don't know, I just been using it was the first program that I ever tried to use. And so I just kind of got used to it. I've tried using Paint Tool Sci and Painter, but I was just used to the arrangement of panels and the brush behaviors of Photoshop. And then Photoshop does so many useful things, like the custom brush creation is really handy. And they're starting to get better at incorporating things that other programs like Painter does, like being able to pick up color and simulate brushes being able to pick up color which is really, really cool. And, um, and I, I think a part of it also is that I just don't have time to learn a whole new art program, at least these days. Like, I've got so much to do that trying to learn a whole other thing is just, it's time I don't have. So I just stick to what I know. But I am hoping to learn some animation program soon actually because I'd love to be able to take my 2D art and just add some motion and effects to it which I think would be cool so I could start sharing my art on YouTube or have it pair with other things. I really like the idea of combining my art with like moving animation like if I could just straight up animate characters that would be really cool. Yeah, I actually opt to pay for CC because, I mean, I use Photoshop every day. It's a part, it's a huge part of my business. Even when I'm not creating paintings in it, I'm also making, um, you know, I'm also doing sketches for my traditional paintings. So I, I literally use it every day. <laughs> you guys on Discord can probably see that my name always says I am playing Photoshop. So when, it, when it's a big part of your business, you kind of start planning those expenses. And I also like that Photoshop is upgraded and improved very frequently now. They've added so many improvements to their tools. And like the symmetry tool, I don't think I could live without it now. It is like awesome. But I understand it if people want to use a one-time payment program because you know that's just easier but I like Photoshop I like the cloud storage you get with the subscription and $9.99 to me is like a couple of coffees per month that I could go without so I can live with that and I also write it off as a business expense because I actually am a a proper official sole proprietor so I just deduct this from my taxes. But I'll tell you what tempts me into other programs is like Photoshop still doesn't have anything that does word balloons and I actually do like to make comics every now and again. So I'd love to get like I think probably Clip handles word balloons when I do them in Photoshop I have to like make a shape and sort of hand draw the the little tails on them and that's just pants I remember when Clip was Manga Studio first. That's when I first used it was way back when it was Manga Studio. It's been a minute. I like what I've seen of like the 3D figures they include that you can pose and use to help like um, 
you know, set up your panels and characters first. That would be a big reason I would buy Clip in addition to Photoshop. And oh my gosh, it goes on sale like every other day. They're like, please, here's Clip for 80% off. Bye. So I'll probably catch a holiday sale and get Clip so I can play with those 3D figures and have something that's a little better for comic, um, comic arrangements. This new color wheel that they've added in, in this latest update of Photoshop is pretty handy too. Because I think in color wheel when I'm painting watercolors because with watercolors you have to put down the complementary color first to de-intensify the colors that go on top of it. So like I think in, we in color wheel, so this is so handy. I really liked the line stabilization inside. It was, it was pretty good. I always go running back to Photoshop. Just ain't got time for that. But you know, one day I'll have time. Fabulous fur. Man, I can't wait to draw this character's face because I, it's one of those sketches where, you know, you get it right and it just, like, it just worked with the first try. I didn't have to edit it that much. So I'm like, ooh, his face came out just the way I wanted. That happens so rarely. Have to fix these claw like fingers. <laughs> Sketch fingers. So do the other programs have the symmetry tool too? Because uh, man, I can't live without that tool. It's so handy. I think Clint maybe does. So there's a detail I'm saving for last and I'm excited to get to it. It's um, he, This character has a psionic halo when he uses magic, I believe, is when it pops up. So that's going to be the last touch on this. This is going to be fun. And now that we've got the main shapes, they can start. 
bring out the important lines. Cleaning up some of these lines I've already got down. Tried to make him resemble his mom just a little bit. so awesome to have so many tabletop characters to draw because that's always one thing I wanted more of in my portfolio and also just really fun to draw characters so I've been in <laughs> so now drawing lots of like whimsical fine artsy women so it's kind of nice to have that change of pace I love my whimsical Art Nouveau women, but sometimes you just want to draw other things. Cheekbones for days. actually do watch American Horror Story and I think I know who you're talking about. He does look very elfy. Oh, and I've got my brush with the transfer turned on now, so the harder I press, the darker the line will be. And that's just so I bring in some line variation and not have everything be that stark, plastic, straight line. into the habit also of making eyes like making the white of the eye first before I just draw the outline and see I started to draw the outline and then I stopped myself because I'm trying to think of the eye as a globe first because otherwise you end up with that flat form of an eye and there's just the subtlest things that bring realism into the eye, which is basically, in my opinion, paying homage to the fact that the eye is a globe 
in your head in a socket and the eyelids are the container shape around it. Damn, you should totally draw a ray. It'd be a lot of fun. And good practice for learning the programs, too. And as the old cliche goes, practice makes perfect. I wish it weren't true, but it is. sharpening his features a little bit more. Maybe too sharp. Time to soften up that hair. Thank you. 
Gotta have feathery perfect hair when you're an elf. Oh, whoops, I drew on the wrong layer again. Whoopsie. Okay. And now I must leave the face and do other things. Oop, I drew on the wrong layer again. I'm just too excited about hair. something different. But first, a bathroom break. I'll be right back.
Okay, I'm back. Okay, let me resume my timer. Yeah, I feel you, Mistress. I have to have a tea every morning, or I just I just can't start my day. Uh, Sani asks, any tips for highlighting metal? Metal is a really complicated topic. And trying to think of the best way to condense the advice for it. Like her crown over here. I think what really makes metal stand out is having those specular highlights. Like the really white highlights. That's from the light bouncing around inside of the metal, which has like these fast moving ions that reflect light. <laughs> it's a very scientific answer, but basically what makes metal look convincing is those reflections and those really bright, high contrast highlights. And you just gotta, again, that hated word, you have to study it and you have to practice it because there's a lot involved with it. That's hard to condense into, you know, like easy drawing tips. But highlights make the metal, in my opinion. Bringing back some of this drapery. Still capturing all the important lines. And again, bringing back Putting in some callbacks to his mother's motifs here, since I want them to look like they're from the same kingdom. God, I had those on the shirt layer. It's just the day for forgetting about layers, it seems. There we go. Now I'm in the right place. I'm gonna actually change this up to be even more like his mom's outfit.
and he has his mother's eyes too. Okay, back to the clothes. See, I've got 18 minutes, so I need to uh, hurry it up so I can get to the Cyanic Halo and maybe get some shading in too. Yeah, you guys go ahead and link the tutorials in the discord if you like that's what it's for they got the there's the resources channel you can stick it in there and like you said just put a if there's not safe for work material in it just put a little warning and that way people should just be aware when they click it so that's cool well i have to go at afk again phone
Okay, we're back again. We will make it through this. And resuming timer. But at least it's not tornadoes. <laughs> I can take just random other interruptions that aren't tornadoes. And now I see that I want to move the eyes down. They're a little too high up. <laughs> now it looks like very strange makeup. Crisis over. And I gotta soften up this fur trim too, so it doesn't look so flat. Get some actual fur going on. So fluffy. Now to bring some actual hairs into this, but since I don't have all the time to really make this super detailed, I'm just going to try and imply the fur. So hopefully you can tell it is fur, just from a few quick strokes to get the strands across. See, I'm going to go ahead and put in his halo. So I can go one of two ways, either realistic or um, more kind of tarot style symbolic. Let's see what, see what I like. Let me take transfer off so I can get a nice flat line this time.
Oh my goodness, I'll be right back again. Okay, and we're back again. <laughs> we will make it through. But at least you've gotten to stare at his, at his most beautiful face. And now I need to decide on a halo style. it can be tilted or it could be around his face like a more traditional halo
Hmm. I think I might actually like the other style where it's kind of tilted and there's a sense of depth to it. Also kind of blending in the graphical look because I think that looks neat. Yeah, I like it. Okay. Definitely gonna go with this one instead of the other style. Okay, and now let's see if I can fit in a little shading. I think I'm going to try and bring in the same kind of light from above that his mother has on him. Hey. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me.
was the one thing I was gonna ramble about. I got the coolest present today. The Batman animated series from the 90s was uh, gifted to me by my husband and it came early. It was just released and like anyone who knows me, this is one of my favorite all-time series ever. I just love Batman and that is in my eyes the best Batman ever. So I'm really hyped to receive that today. It came before my birthday but I opened it anyway because I really really wanted it. So I'm super excited about that because it just it's an amazing series. If you haven't seen it, highly recommend it. It's just a, a really fun series but also it has very serious writing to it too. Like there a lot of the villains are kind of sad. Like they all have pretty sympathetic stories to them. Which I really like. And it's just really great writing. So nothing is more appropriate to celebrate getting older than Batman. That's because I love Batman and I'm just happy for more Batman things. <sighs> I swear, allergy season is supposed to be over, but it's I'm still sniffling anyway. I blame Georgia. Let's get some highlighting in here, too. Timer! I'm not done yet. I'm gonna spend a little more time on this one since I was interrupted a bit. Yes, I'm glad to hear there are other Batman fans. Get them while they're young. And I think it's also like the in 90s animated series is kind of like the most fun version of Batman. He's not too grim dark, he's just grim dark enough. He still has a sense of humor, but it's not like Val Kilmer smiley 60s Batman. I'm gonna stop gushing about Batman now before I sound like a fangirl. But it's it's just a great series and this is the first time it's ever been on Blu-ray and I'm just super excited. Yeah, for sexy highlights. Oh my gosh, Mistretch, I love the X-Men animated series from the 90s too. That that was my jam. I really loved that one. And Spider-Man. I probably know more about more about these characters from the animated series than the actual comics. Because I stopped reading the comics, but the, the animated series, I, I saw all of it.
There we go, add a bit of glow to this halo. I love it. Dramatic. Okay, time for some more highlighting. Yeah, I, I stopped reading comics because I just, I don't know, it's, the, the storyline just got re recursive and ridiculous after a while. It's like, someone died, oh no, oh, they're back, they're back again, and their death meant nothing. So I just kind of stick to indie comics these days, I don't really read a lot of the mainstream stuff, like, I read Monstrous, which is this really cool, like, um, comic from Image that if you're into the Exalted stuff you might want to check it out because it's very much like Art Nouveau steampunk Asian mythology and but not quite Asian mythology like fantasy Asian mythology with a bit of the animism thrown in I, it's really hard to describe you just gotta like go check it out because it's amazing I really love it and it, it, I know the story's gonna end and it's gonna be neatly written and not have, like, hopefully not have dumb plot twists. Oh man, Mr. you gotta catch up on Monstrous. It's so freaking awesome. Uh, the storyline has, it's been pretty good throughout. So definitely recommend that. And Sani, like I was talking about earlier, it really is the highlights that pop the metal and give it that convincing feel. I'm not gonna say like these metal clips here are the bestest metal ever, but I find that when you can pop these highlights with really strong specular highlights like this, that it helps metal feel more convincing. At some point, I should probably just do some tutorials about it. But, um... Yeah, Metal's all in the highlights. He went from, like, kind of serious to smug somehow. <laughs> I'm like, should I leave this smugness? I don't know. Maybe it's an elf thing. I think I'm gonna leave the smugness. I didn't intend for him to be that way, but I kind of like it, so we're gonna leave the smug. Alright, let's zoom out here and see what we got going on.
need more highlight. I've been um, looking at Glitter Bomb. I really love the, co the cover art because I'm shallow like that. I always look at the cover art first. It does look pretty interesting. Just needed to punch up the contrast just a little bit. Gory Magical Girl. I'm intrigued by this combination. And for that finishing touch, let me grab my texture layer.
All right, I think he's just about done. There we go. We're just looking a little bit washed out, but I think I got it. Ooh. Yay! See the two together. Looking pretty epic. Now he was fun to draw. I, I really love drawing this whole family, so keep them coming, Lion. I love them. They are amazing. They're like these dramatic Game of Thrones elves, and I love it. So, hope you guys enjoyed tuning in and watching this come together, even if I was interrupted a few times. But that is live, baby! You never know what happens, like phone calls. And I actually have another sketch already prepped and ready to go. But I'm going to go and stretch and rest a little bit first before I hop into it. Can't stay too long on the computer because it's bad for you. So I'll be back later with another sketch and that'll be the last sketch for Patreon patrons this month. So and again, the final pitch for those who might have tuned in later. These are quick sketch commissions for my Patreon patrons who get a characters or you know other sketch per month at the sketch collector. Uh, tier and you can find that on patreon at patreon.com forward slash Angela Sasser and I see something that I want to fix real fast so I'm gonna do that sorry there's a mark I can't leave without fixing the mark okay we're better now it's good we're, we're good now <laughs> okay so again thanks for tuning in and I'll be back in a little while with Aiden's sketch it's going to be an exalted character and that's gonna be a lot of fun I'm excited about the rough sketch I already did that we're gonna color in so maybe see you guys then thanks for tuning in and I'll check you later ta-ta for now